Welcome to Van Talk 19. 19, no, 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 19. And here we are, we are in Arisig. Probably said that wrong. The opening thing of this is talking about dynamic pricing of the mm. Caravan and Motor Home Club. We What's didn't that, know about Andrew? Well, we didn't know about it. Sue Wheeler pointed it out. I didn't know this. So basically, if you book within 21 days, the price might go up and it's very split. If you have a look on the forums, mm -hmm. some people think it's a good idea because they can book up front so they get a cheaper price. But I'm not sure if it is a cheaper price or just a normal advertised price. I'm not sure, but we're members, so well, that member's is... paying a less price than me as a member. Yeah, but the same while that's just how it works. Uh, nowadays, when you book things, it's supply and demand. But if you're members and you're paying into a membership, then like, that's like a member's. It's, a bit it's different, isn't it? I yeah. think it's different. Except like flights and things, if you buy them in advance, they're typically cheaper. But I'm not in a club. But no. I'm paying but like with club. a flight, that's like a. It's a bit of a free for all, isn't it? It's a first come, first mm. served. But I think if you're paying a membership price, then really we should all just have a flat rate being a member. Because if yeah. you're not a member, you pay a higher price anyway. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, and this is called dynamic pricing. Yeah, but, so you pay a higher price if you're not a member, but if you are a member, then now, well, you could still pay a higher price. And one thing that, I know, one thing that I would say is that when you go to the other uh, non-caravan and motor home club sites, yep. then you're paying kind of below that rate anyway. And we've found this year that the independents have been Brilliant. a lot better. Is this caravan and motor home? No, we're not staying in a single caravan and motor home club. So we've already paid as membership. So you could say that we've already paid a premium to stay on them anyway. What do you guys think? We need to get on with the show. We do. Who have we got up first? First, I want to just say welcome to uh, Ray and Jude and Winston. They live in uh, Australia and they've become members. Oh, thank so you. Thank you, Ray and Jude. Uh, yeah, that's great. And one more thing, very quickly. Terry Clark, it was your birthday on the 30th of March. So, hi. So, John, your lovely husband, said, uh, told us about that. So, hi. Uh, belated. Hope you had a great birthday, Terry. Terry Clark. <laughs> it's a belated one. It is. <laughs> Took us a while. Anyway, here we go. Roll VD. Whose rig is that? So, whose rig's this? Right, so this is Andy and Heather. Now, they've bought a new van called Dora. Ooh. Ooh. Now this is Heather in the van making the sandwiches. And this is um, Andy driving it home for the very first time. <laughs> it's a Bailey approach. Beautiful. Really nice van. Very exciting. Thank you for sharing that. This is Penny and Tony Greenhill. Now this van is called Clifford. It's their first van and it's an Auto Trail V Line 620. Smart looking van, that guys. Nice colour. Very nice colour. Paul and D Dayton. This is a Swift 590 RS. Uh, and they also put tea towels on their oven handle the same as me. <laughs> Do you know why it looks a little bit like a burstner, that one that we went to see? Because of the colours, it's really nice. Yeah, out, I yeah. like that. Nice it's graphics. It's a Swift. This is Carol and Martin Miles. This is a Mohawk motorhome. Now, we met Carol and Martin in Brown Hills. Oh, yeah. That time. So, hello. Uh, Carol and Martin have lots of holidays. They're constantly on holiday, aren't you, Carol? This one, this is Tracy and Brian. Now, they're in New Zealand. Beautiful. Look this at is that. a Jayco Conquest, an MS24. The four, uh, four, I guess that's four beds, is it? And that's based on a Mercedes. Look at that. That's a lovely picture. Beautiful. Look at the background. That's great. This is Stuart and Lisa. This is a really nice. Look at the sunset there. Uh, they say, get away whilst you can. Too right. We'd agree with that, wouldn't we? Absolutely. Dan and Linda from Chesterfield. They've got a custom Volkswagen camper. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, Sitting great. outside there, having your barbecues nice and things. Nice awning. Got really the good. food sorted. Yeah, <laughs> best thing. John Rudd from Darlington. Now, John, his first van was an old Volkswagen. Love that picture. That's a beautiful, beautiful picture. And then, But now he's got a classic 1993 Heimer. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool as well, Built isn't it? Built like tanks then, apparently. Last forever. Amanda Stringer. Hello, Amanda. You've got a Nissan L Grand 3.5. Cruise control, twin sliding electric doors, electric blinds, reverse camera, lots of extras. And look at that setup. That's really that's really great. Awesome. Yeah, really good. This is Tom, Tom McGowan. Hi, Tom. So you weren't sure about sending caravan pictures in. Send them. We love we caravans. We love caravans. And that's a really smart caravan. What kind of caravan is that? I don't know, Swift, but it's a, it's a gorgeous one. Yeah, pickup truck and caravan. Like that look. That it's might good. be us one day, might it? Could be, yeah. Okay, next this is Paul and Caroline Anderson. Now, they've got a Luna... 
Cassini EL, and they've only ever seen one other on the road. Oh, wow. Now, spare parts are a pain, hmm. of course, and they used to have a converted ambulance. Ooh. But that was pretty cool. Yeah. This is Greg and Jill. Now, they've got an Auto Trail V Line 160. Now, that picture is absolutely fantastic. And Greg says the same get out as much as you can. Now, I've included this in because look at that picture. That That's is beautiful, beautiful isn't, isn't it? it? Really nice. I don't know where you are there, Greg and Jill. Mm. Love it. Really, really great. Could be around Flamborough. Yep. Thornwick, maybe. Roger and Yvonne Mathers now from a Hull. Now, look at this. They've got a folder caravan called Connie. Very Connie. retro. A 1990 Cardinal folding caravan. I remember as a kid going to the caravan and motor home show and they had loads of these. Yeah. Blow my mind. Yeah, look at that. Great. That's really comfy set up inside. Actually, very spacious. Yeah. Very spacious. So that's all the rigs for this week. Thank you. Brilliant. All right. Brilliant. Moving on. What we got? Roving reporters. Oh, we've got some good reporters this time, Andrew. Roll VD. <laughs> All right, so who's the first roving reporter? Yeah, so the first roving reporter is Leslie and Neil Westwood. Now, the dog here is called Dolby. Mm -hmm. They've got a YouTube channel, Dolby Dog Adventures. Mm -hmm. Have a look, have a look. Have a look. Hi, guys. Neil and Leslie here from Dolby Dog Adventures. Just want to give everybody a little bit of an update on how we manage with a small camper van regarding onboard facilities. As you can see, we have a T6 transporter, which is obviously a small van. So how do we manage? So what we have is a set to porta potty. Hold on. Leslie, where are you going? What do you mean? Sorry guys, Leslie seems to have walked off for some reason. So yeah, we have the uh, 565 model, which is slightly taller than you'll find in normal camper vans. The rule is number ones only, wherever possible. As like my, most people I suspect. Uh, this particular model has a electronic flush so you can see press that button there electronic flush the toilet rather than having to do the old-fashioned pump action oh let me just demonstrate that for you actually hold on one second oh for god's sake leslie you've done all this shit. i forgot another roving reporter Oh, quick, quick, quick. This is Pete and Cheryl Barry. Uh, they're on the slopes. Now, they drive their Bursna uh, to Germany, Austria, and they go skiing. And here they are. Awesome. Good morning. International roving reporter here. Uh, what a difference a day makes. 24 little hours. There's a song there, but I'm not going to sing it. Well, it's a gorgeous day here today in Dorfgastein. Temperatures down. It's lovely and sunny. Clear blue skies absolutely glorious what a day to be out gonna look at a little bit of action here from uh, Cheryl who's coming down this slope here um, she won't challenge Lindsay Vaughn I don't think in the uh, in any of the forthcoming international races but she's skiing well today very confident sliding across the slope there with lots of people thank you very much for skiing down there just in front of me very kind of you here she is And there she goes. Well, that's all from the Dorf Gastein this morning. Thank you very much for watching and it's back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Pete. We always love hearing from Pete. Yep. I think Pete's sometimes a warden, isn't he? Yeah, he's in a, in a site in Wales at the moment. It's a, it's a name I can't say, actually. Why is it rude? <laughs> it's not oh. rude. <laughs> but Pete's there now. Yeah, there, I think he said for seven months. I think Pete kind of flips his seasons. He skis in winter works in summer what a joy that is pretty cool yeah what well a done joy. yeah uh, so th and pete of course has been following us since probably the very beginning haven't you pete i say i think pete's actually helped us to build this channel so thank you pete we Tremendously. really really appreciate your support moving on now this is kenny now kenny's been following us for some time as well now kenny's got a vivaro but andrew this is how you sort of build a vivaro properly okay hi claire and andy I just thought I'd show you what Vivivan looks like now after I've finished her. Quite happy how I've done the job, but hey, there's always more to do. Can't afford a big van like yours, but I think she'll do for me. That's, that's the cab inside that I've done, recovered the seats. 
it's my camera gear this is inside my van rebuilt all those those units myself Redid everything, ripped everything out that the previous converter put in. That there is Clara. She's my McMoo. She's come all the way from Australia. Uh, my friend Sue has a twin to her. Um, she said that um, one of these days we'll get these two back together with our vans. Either in Australia or over here. But hopefully it'll happen. Well, that's a little tour of my van. Quite happy with her. Hope you like her. See you later. Bye. What's the matter? It's just bringing back memories of St. Chris the First. What kind of memories? It's just the same as that, isn't it? Absolutely not. Do you mean absolutely not? Yeah, it's a half cut down bed. Kenny, that is beautiful. And Kenny's van is called Viv. Now, if you want to do a, a Vivaro properly, have a word with Kenny. Have I got any uh, rants? Of the week we do now uh, we have got two rants and a follow-up from a rant that dan sent in last time and this is kenny kenny again saying actually this is the shower where you've got the shower button and it comes back out mid shower mm. kenny was saying actually he um keeps a spare lollipop stick in his pocket <laughs> so when he goes to the shower he puts the lollipop stick in mm. and then it doesn't go it, you know voila uh, now, also, you can buy something on eBay. Other people have said. Hey, Kenny, things. is that a lollipop stick? Are you just pleased to see me? <laughs> uh, but it says it works a treat. So, lollipop sticks the future, guys. <laughs> so, thank you, Kenny. So that's a response. Now, we've got another uh, rant. This is from Karen Page. <laughs> a rant from Karen. Karen a rant actually. From Karen. <laughs> Karen says, "Yes, I am called Karen." <laughs> Let's have a look. So Karen's problem, really, and rant is a, is a fair one. When she drives her van, she's got a nugget to call Norman, I think. That's right, isn't it, Karen? Mm -hmm. And when you park your van in a car park, you know, with lots of spaces all around it, you find when you come back, somebody is parked next to you. <laughs> so who else has had this? Who else had this problem? Oh, We've no. had it, haven't we? Yeah. This there you go. Yeah, there's look. an example. No, but... You know, she would say she's got children, so children, you know, have you never seen it's them it. open the doors in a van before? Yeah, got that's a valid spare. point. <laughs> you go and do that. So that is a quite a rant because that does happen. I know that's happened to us in the yeah. past. Very frustrating. All right. And this is the next one. This is from William Clark about late night parties. What does he like him? He doesn't like them. Oh. Now, you're a bit like William. Am I? Because you don't like any slight noise on the campsite, do you? That's not true at all. There was a bit of noise yesterday, wasn't there? Noisy campers. We don't have parties now, do we? We're done with that, aren't we? We're done with that. I just have a cup of tea, go to bed. Pray or that a we, mantra. Pray that we wake up next day. <laughs> now it's time for tips. What do you know? This is a little bit about Gary and Fiona Ranke. Mm. Now, um, Gary made Fiona maybe made the wrong word Gary sorry but check out all the cooking utensils mm -hmm. that they had in the van now the tip here is don't get bogged down with cooking utensils because you can get lots of stuff you just don't use so they had uh, Ridge Monkeys Omni Ovens George Foreman's you know don't get carried away with stuff you don't need now we're quite organised with that mm, yeah and um, you wouldn't know so much but we're quite organised in the kitchen I haven't bought a lot of stuff but we do have that Omni Oven that we bought in St. Chris the First, and I yeah. made the corned beef hash. Right. That looked pretty rank, but if you mm. close your eyes, it was beautiful. Mm. So we, and we haven't used that in St. Chris the Second. Right. Oh, very good. <laughs> so we've got another tip. We've got another tip. Now, this is from uh, Malcolm King, but on Yorkshire Last Van Life Adventures. Yeah. So squeaky doors in the van that we've had squeaky doors, haven't we? They're saying mm. that this, this exact silicone is perfect, and it's a really good lubricant for that. Uh, they've used it on the Thetford toilet cassette. Where do you think you're going? So Jackie and Steve, Polly Gray, the camper van. Now they've been to Northern Ireland. Ooh. Did all the touristy stuff, the Giant's Causeway, uh, all the Game of Thrones areas. But actually Jackie fell oh, and no. broke her arm. Oh no. And had to go to hospital, uh, Coleraine Hospital, but... Everybody was very friendly and they travelled around very easily with their two dogs, Saga and Kez. And this rig is an eldest CCV40. 
Isn't that a beautiful picture? Absolutely. Look at the rainbow. Beautiful. Really nice. So hi, Jackie and Steve. Hello. They've been following us for some time as well. All right. Good. So, yeah, Polly Gray, the camper van. Brilliant. All right, on to jokes. Roll VD. This is Kev. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Okay. The joke is, I just saw a guy walking around the supermarket shouting, cauliflower, broccoli, cauliflower, broccoli. I think he's got florets. <laughs> but actually... It's something that I want to bring up. Can what? you remember when I were part of that? Your florets. No, I was part of that Facebook group for jokes. Oh yeah, you were. And I yeah. used to spend all my week <laughs> thinking up jokes. This was a problem, really, wasn't it, for you? They were it, good. It consumed your life. It didn't did. It? And then I, I, I uh, came up with my best joke, which I thought was my best joke. Yeah, very good. And um, it was that Jonathan Ross was going to make a dangerous cake, but he couldn't because he didn't want to whisk it. <laughs> to which, they banned me. I got banned. It was an inappropriate joke, I think. We, we can't, put because we can't, <laughs> we can't have a joke at people that's got speech impediment. And About I got whisking. banned. But you was whisking, whisking some eggs and flour. <laughs> it got banned. And then I got invited back. I told them where to go. But you, didn't, you wouldn't go back. They joke, honestly, their, site, their page it dried up after I'd gone. I think people were only watching I, 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 was, I don't want to brag, but I was carrying that page. Well, you holding it together. <laughs> they banned him. That, that was one of my best jokes. For whisk, whisk. Didn't want to whisk it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Kev's got another one. Congratulations to Hugh the Pretty Boyden for being elected <laughs> as the new chairman of the Budgerigar Appreciation <laughs> Society. <laughs> That's really good. Do you get it? <laughs> no. Why don't you explain it? Who's a pretty boy then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kev, you are so good with your jokes. Right, so we've got uh, another one in, and this is from Helen Jackson. Oh, this is Helen and Michael. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. came up with this. That's yeah. Yeah, we're really at the big time. What right. kind of dog does a magician have? A labracadabra dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get that one? <laughs> yeah. You. Yeah, apparently Michael was absolutely in stitches about this one and he, uh, That's a good laughing one. like mad. Yeah. Oh, we've got some more jokes. We've put loads in. This <laughs> we've been got there. lots of jokes. <laughs> We're having a good time, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we've got two sat in here, you all, for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ache it morning, aren't we? <laughs> got a belly ache it morning. <laughs> now, who knows who that comedian is? Yeah, put it in the comments. Yeah, 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 you get a point. In fact, your brother does the best impression yeah. of that, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. this is a good one. So Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd break into a distillery. Quite topical. Yeah. Daffy turns to Elmo, Elmer, not Elmo, that's guy from uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah. And says, is this whiskey? Elmer says, yeah, but not as whiskey as wobbing a bank. Now, can hey, I just, hey, hey, just realised. Can I just say that this is an inappropriate <laughs> joke and we'll be having none of it. We're going to have to ban you. That's it. This is we'll be hearing Donald. from Jonathan Ross's lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny how that's going yeah, yeah. yeah. I know everybody's thinking, oh, he's seen that last joke and then just made that other one up. I didn't. That's no, you not didn't. True. You really did get banned. Yeah. That's all the jokes. That's all the jokes. So, on to the dogs. Yay. Roll VD. Whose dog is this? Okay, this is Ray and Jude's dog, Winston. Hmm. Look at him. That's Ray having a lollipop. I don't know what they're laughing at there. I don't think so he's laughing. I think he's sat in a drawing pin. <laughs> Hello, oh, Ray. Uh, now, this is a, Winston's a Yorkshire Terrier, 18 months old. Um, they are in Australia and they're travelling around for the last seven and a half years permanently Brilliant. in their van. Brilliant. Isn't that amazing? So, welcome, 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 guys. Now, yeah. Ray is originally from Brighton. Okay. They met in England and got married uh, and now they're in Australia permanently. It's the Jude. Now, Ray, you've not been too well recently, so I'm hoping you're feeling much better now. And look at this picture, this is great. So this is Ray and Jude. Stuart and Lisa Campbell's dog, Poppy. Poppy's licking the Leaning Tower yeah, of Pizza. Poppy's in Italy, look. Let's check wow. Poppy out. She's cute. She's cute isn't Don't she? move or it'll fall down. <laughs> this is Mick Norcia's two dogs. Enzo is a two-year-old Cavalier King Charles. He loves yeah. to sleep upside down. Big lad. So he's comfy there. 
isn't he? That's he Enzo. Is. That's how Pablo sleeps like yeah. that when we have people around. And this is Charlie, his brother, and he's 12 years old. Charlie's got a bit more dignity than Enzo, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, this is Shell and Gary Fletcher from Rotherham. Rossi, he's a nine-year-old Jack Russell, and Roxy is a seven-year-old Border Collie. Now, they've got an Instagram, Rossi Roxy 2023 so have a look at those, at those guys. Yeah. Great pictures. Shell and Gary from Rotherham, near yeah. to us. This is Lottie. This is Dave Holdsworth, dog. Lottie's waiting for bacon. <laughs> Look at Lottie. It did take me a while to work out where the head was on yeah, Lottie. Just... Next, this is Nathan Hall's dog, a Whippet Cross, 18 months old, called Benji. I love that picture. Yeah, Benji's Look at the silhouette there. Benji's gorgeous. Top dog. Well loved dog, that. Yep. Thank you, Nathan. Steve Hodgson. Hi, Steve. These are your three dogs having the, the picture taken with Santa Claus, I think. No, I thought that were you in your dry robe. <laughs> Steve, you didn't tell me what the names of your dogs were, but look, that isn't me in my dry robe. <laughs> oh, frankincense and mare. And what was the other one? Gold, Gold, frankincense and mare. And where's Wally on the end in the stripy jumper? Well, no, we've said about you. Come on, it's not about you, it's about Steve and his dogs. <laughs> Next, this is Steve and Lou, uh, Lou's Staffordor, four-year-old Staffordor called Digby. Now, Staffordor? Yeah. It's like Troubadour or... That's a famous nightclub in LA. Yeah. Uh, but Digby, anyway, has an Instagram page, Digby underscore campervan underscore adventures. And Digby travels all over. And here he is at a Digby sweet shop. His own sweet shop. Yeah. Next, this is Christian and Mark Herwin's two rescue whippets. Sonic, two-year-old, and Lady Acorn, who's rescued when she was nine months. And she's two now. Oh, having the best life. Yeah, she hadn't had, she hasn't had a good life, but look at her now. Yeah. In the van. This is Rich Rimmington's dog, four year old Cavapoo called Mimi. Now Mimi loves sausages, but they make her do big poos. <laughs> Is that what it's saying? <laughs> yeah. Hi Mimi. Hello Mimi. Eyes, hasn't she? We can see how far behind we are with these pictures because we've had Father Christmas and now we've got a Christmas yeah. tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get to them all. Next. This is Shirley Gregory's three doggies, Katie, Lucy and River. They're at the beach, look. Aww. Looks great there. This is Rosie, isn't she cute? This is Maureen Alder's dog. She's a 10-year-old staff whippet cross. Aww. You can see the staff there, can't you, in her? Yeah. She's cute, I like that picture. On the bench, look, in the park or somewhere. Nigel Williams' dog. This is Alfie. <laughs> He's a 14-year-old grumpy Pomeranian. <laughs> Alfie looks like me. Grumpy. Yeah. Mary. That's... <laughs> That's how I walk around. I'm sure of Get it. Your tongue out. Next one. <laughs> Teresa and Barry Aspinall from Liverpool. They've got two golden retrievers, Ralphie and Junior. Oh, they are yeah, amazing. Great. Now, they like to watch Pablo on the television. They're smiling as well. Look at them. Isn't lovely. that lovely? Yeah, yeah. that's a beautiful, beautiful picture. Next, this is Tara, a 15-year-old Yorkie, Bijon Cross, and her daughter, Eva. Now, this is Victorian Alfie Steele's dogs. They've travelled for miles and miles, 22,000 miles in their camper van called Dora. Oh, wow. Uh, camper van travels in Dora, yeah. Now, this is Callie and John Summer's rescue dog, Molly. With an elf from Christmas again. That's lovely. Now, let me just tell you a bit about Molly. She was found abandoned in a field. Oh. Now, she'd had some puppies at some point, but they don't know anything about that, what happened. They think she's about eight to nine year old. She's really sweet, very loving and very well behaved. And the next one is Andrew and Phil McMurray's dogs. Finley, eight year old boxer, a.k.a. Mr. Grey. <laughs> and Robin, who Robin sadly passed away when she was only six years old. Aww. So that's a very sad story. So, but actually, Andrew and Phil are now looking for a little girl that they can spoil and a friend for Finley. Oh, well, I hope you find one. We just want to say a massive thank you to Nina Turner who sent us this amazing hand-drawn picture of Pablo. What an amazing picture. Hand-drawn took, took a lot of time. I think Skill. 13 hours. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank yeah, you so very long, much. A long, long time. So if anybody would like to get in touch with Nina uh, for a picture of your own dog, just send us an email at St. Chris of atlantis at gmail.com and we'll pass you the details on uh, but can't thank you enough wow absolutely amazing yeah it's really good thank Brilliant. you nina thanks nina coming up later this weekend we've got our next install of our scottish tour oh we just love it yeah we love it i can't remember where we we're, were now loving it 
<laughs> oh yeah. Don't know. You can't do Can that. that. No. Oh. Coming up, we well, uh, you'll see an episode of us on the Isle of Mull. So not to give too much away, we had no electric hookup and no designated plot and there was really nothing else to do so you can see how we filled our time we love this episode so we really good. laughed didn't we oh we did oh we did oh we laugh. did but thank you very much for watching we hope you're all well and we hope to see you all out on your travels see you on the next fan talk goodbye, goodbye. we've been asked to do bloopers in the past Oh, we've never done them, we've never released them because sometimes they've been inappropriate, we'd get in trouble or maybe it only us that thinks it's funny. However, something happened earlier today and we thought it was hilarious, didn't we, Andrew? And uh, we thought what we'll do is we'll release it to you guys so you can see the hard work it is for Andrew working with me. Don't work with animals, children or Claire. Hello, we are in Calgary Bay. Now, there's a beach down here and apparently it's beautiful. So we've driven three hours uh, and here we are. Uh, we can't see the beach yet and it's raining. Have you ordered? Yeah, so I ordered two coffees. Did you want some cake? Yeah, what we got? There's carrot cake, meringue. Is that, is that a tartare meringue? <laughs> So have you ordered then, Claire? Yeah. So we're having two coffees. Mm. Did you want a cake? I do, yeah, what they got. There's carrot cake, meringue. <laughs> have you ordered, Claire? I've ordered two coffees. Oh yeah? Yeah. Just speak up so we can hear you. Yeah, so it's me. Yeah. We ordered Claire. Yes. What Two we ordered? Coffees. Two coffees. Now, do you want a cake? Um. Yeah, I do. What they got? Carrot cake. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. That there is that a tartar a meringue? You're right. It's a meringue. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to say. <laughs> let's do it again. What am I supposed to say? Right, so... <laughs> You're right, it's a meringue. No, That's what I was supposed so... to do. <laughs> <laughs> that saying? makes no sense. I know, yes. That's what I was supposed to say. Right, so... <laughs> You're going to say, no, you're right, it's a tart. Okay, let's okay. go again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. So... <laughs> <laughs> So here we are in the cafe. Have we ordered? Yeah, so we've got two coffees. Yeah. Uh, did you want a cake? Yeah, I might do. What they got? Well, there's carrot cake, chocolate yeah. cake. Oh, yeah. What about that? Is that a tart or a meringue? No, no, it's a tart. No, you're right, it's a tart. So, so I've ordered two coffees. Okay. Did you want a cake? A cake? Well, maybe. Uh, what cakes have they got? They've got carrot cake, yeah. chocolate fudge cake. What about that? Is that a tart or a meringue? <laughs> no, you're right, it's a tart. Finally. <laughs> Did you record it? Yeah, same, in the bag. <laughs> <laughs>